How's it going, folks? Still exploring the CYP for Greater Sacramento. And I'm, I'm up to page four now. Here's a little spot down here where they didn't sell an ad, so... Don't forget, every time you patronize our advertisers, you are helping a fellow Christian. Russian American Media um, Church Accounting, Accounting, Tax, hmm. let's see if there's anything interesting here. All right, let's skip on ahead. Oh, and there's all these little things at the bottom. God, here's what, oh wait, I did that one already. Yeah. Oh, our strength comes from God's power. We also pray that you will be strengthened with all his glorious power so you will have all the endurance and patience you need. And that's uh, Coloss uh, Colossians 1, 11. Yeah. Uh, uh. Sam there is telling us to check out the coupons. Uh, oh, facelifts, anti-aging stuff. Hmm. I haven't seen any psychics yet. <laughs> Another one for family divorce. You can have a Christian divorce, and apparently that business is booming. They get divorced more than anyone else. Yeah. Attorney, 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 attorney. Yeah, lots of attorneys. Oh, let me see if there's any good ones down below. Yeah. Wait, this did look good. Hang on. Seeking God brings the reward of experiencing His presence. Now, that would be interesting. Anyone who wants to come to Him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. Shades of Joseph Smith, uh, Hebrews 11, 6. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> uh, attorney, 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 lots of attorneys. I'm trying to help. They're going to get some business through this. Don't bother to thank me. Ah, what's this? Dear God, I give you this morning. Please take away my despair of yesterday. Help me to forgive the things that caused me pain. I hope I wasn't one of them. And would keep me bound. No, I don't do that. I'm not into that sort of thing. Please help me to begin again. Please bless my path. And illuminate my mind. I surrender to you the day ahead. Please bless every person and situation I will encounter. Except that mugger. Just kidding. Make me who you would have me be. You'll have to settle for an earthly representative to tell you what that will be. He ain't taking calls right now. His answer machine's got bazillions of messages on it. <laughs> um, then I might do as you would have me do. Please enter my heart and remove all anger, fear, and pain. Uh, God promises to renew our strength as we, as we depend on Him in trusting expectation. 
Here's the answer. The answer from the Bible. A little red arrow pointing to it down there. He gave power to the weak and strength to the powerless. Isaiah 40, 29. Wow. Um, I guess they can just about make that sound like anything. If you go around cherry picking for like a, a fortune cookie message out of the Bible, sure. God works for the good of those who love him. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. And that's Romans 8.28. And what's this? Thank you for not asking for us. Wait, thank you for not asking for or expecting discounts from our advertisers. Because you're Christians. We're just reminding you to be decent. Uh, Christian store. Hair place. Florist. Beauty supplies. Uh, um, financial counseling. Uh, burglar alarms. Oh, this is all thrown together. Heavenly Hills Christian Camp. And... Here's a little verse over here. You can freeze frame that and read it if you want, but I'll do it for you. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? <coughs> my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Psalm 121, 1, 2. Ah. They got all these little things in here. Um, life presses in all around me. I fear that the storm will crush me. I pray and cry out to the Lord for help. I tune out my wants and fears and ask, Lord, what is your will? I'll take by that silence, it means I need to give the church more money, right? Yeah. He whispers to me through his written word, which can be found in the yellow pages. Still soft voice. Make every thought obedient to Christ. Every thought. And they don't think this is brainwashing? Make every thought obedient to Christ. And since he's not around at the moment, you don't have to settle for his earthly representatives and their businesses. I merge my will into his. I begin to think like him. I have increasing wisdom and understanding. <laughs> he opens my eyes and shuts your mind, closes it up. Uh, he opens my eyes to see his bubble of protection around me. Is that the firmament? <laughs> Only the things he allows through can touch me. I wouldn't bet on that. I trust him. I am yielded. I am at rest. I am free. I am his child. Please, peacefully at play. With a storm raging around me, and that's Larry Hill wrote that. Let's see. You can't do anything without God's help and blessing in your life. Answer from the Bible. Remember the Lord your God. He is the one who gives you power to be successful. Deuteronomy 
Eight eighteen. All right. Here's something over here. See, they got all these little sections they had to fill up that they didn't sell. They just put some holy bibble in it. Hold fast to the Bible as the sheet anchor of your liberties. Write its precepts in your heart and practice them in your lives. To the influence of this book, we are indebted for all the progress made in true civilization. Being a secular society, as we said in the last video, their words. And to his, to this, we must look as our guide to the future. Righteousness exalt, exalteth a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. That's Ulysses S. Grant wrote that. I ah, thought that was the Bible. Well, <laughs> he was a little nutty, wasn't he? All right. Don't forget, every time you patronize our advertisers, you are helping a fellow Christian. You've said that before. Ah. Uh, if you have no time for your health today, you may have no health for your time tomorrow. Joseph Adelson. That was cute. It's kind of like Poor Richard's Almanac, but not quite as good. Oh man, I think we're in this church section because it's just going bang. Yeah. Church, 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 church. Where can I find an auditor? I need Dianetics. I'm finding it here. Just kidding. <laughs> Coupons. Hey, don't think I'm not going to use these. Did you know, and I'm just reading the title there because they're going to say it again. Did you know, as you walk up the steps to the building which houses the U.S. Supreme Court, you can see near the top of the building a row of the world's great lawgivers. And each one is facing the one in the middle who is facing forward with a full frontal view. It is Moses, and he is holding the Ten Commandments. So? Well, I've seen lots of shit like that. It doesn't bother me as much as some folks, but... I just, as long as we don't practice what's in that book, when we go through those doors into a courtroom, I'd rather not have, any, you know... Sorry, we have to pluck your eye out. It's the law. Cut your hand off. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead and put that shit up there. Ah. Did you know, as you sit inside the courtroom, you can see the wall right above where the Supreme Court judges sit. It uh, sits. Uh, yeah. A display of the Ten Commandments. Yeah, well, it's pretty fucked up. But fuck it. Did you know there are Bible verses etches, etched in stone all over federal buildings and monuments in Washington, D.C.? Yeah, well, did you know there's a Gideon in every hotel room? That doesn't mean shit. It's got, it, and it, there's, in God we trust on our money, and people put it in hookers, uh, G strings, and snort coke through it. So, <laughs> whatever. Pointless and meaningless. Yeah. Did you know James Madison, the fourth president, known as the father of our Constitution, made the following statement. We have staked the whole of our political institutions upon the capacity of mankind for self-government upon the capacity of each and all of us to govern ourselves, to control ourselves, to sustain ourselves according to the Ten Commandments. Well, that's fine. I personally, 
I think you could throw out the first three, but you know, they're not bad. It could be better worded, more inclusive. If you read them, they're got some loopholes there, don't they? I mean, Moses and his dudes were killing people in the very next chapter, I think. Well, in one of the many uh, couplets. Uh, 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 duplications, yeah, doublets, yeah. In the midst of stress, the Lord walks beside us and lifts our load. Yeah, it sounds like a crutch, doesn't it? A delusion can do wonders. Cast your burden on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Psalm 55, 22. Well, you know, Psalms, they make a bunch of bullshit promises, don't they? Without counsel, plans go awry. But in the multitude of counselors, they are established. Proverbs 15, 22. Huh, fucking fascinating. And we got doctors and dentists and crematoriums and counseling. And electric, and driving school, drywall, event planning. Ah. Give, and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be put into your lap for the measure you use it will be measured back to you. And that's Luke 6, 38. I guess you can take that to the bank then, can't you? In the act. Uh, uh, donate your car. Ronald Reagan. Oh, damn. I gotta read this. Ronnie... I believe with all my heart that standing up for America means standing up for the God who has so blessed our land. Has he really? We need God's help to guide our nation through stormy seas. But we can't expect him to protect America in a crisis if we just leave him over on the shelf in our day-to-day -day living, and that's Ronnie Reagan. The sellout. Okay, another thing about don't ask for discounts. Yeah. Okay. Abraham Lincoln. They're quoting Abe. Ah, in regard to this great book. I have but to say, it is the best gift God has given to man. Abe said that, huh? At what time in his life, I wonder. People can say a lot of things and then say something else later, because I've heard some other things that Abe said. All the good Savior gave to the world has uh, communicated, was communicated through this book. Sorry, it's a fancy script. Uh, but for it, we could not know right from wrong. Really, you, you think that, huh? You thought that, huh? I don't think so. All things most desirable for man's welfare, here and hereafter, are found portrayed in it. Well, they say he said it, but where did he say it and when? <sighs> Remember to vote, it says. Yeah. Herbert Hoover, really? The whole inspiration of our civilization springs from the teachings of Christ and the lessons of the prophets. To read the Bible for these fundamentals is a necessary necessity of American life. Fine, I think everyone should read the Bible. There'd be more atheists in the world. 
God's presence in life is all you need. Answer from the Bible. Don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. And that's Isaiah 41.10, probably being taken out of context. Insurance, lawn care, mortgage, really. Uh, locksmiths, massage therapy, ministries, here we go again. Let's see if there's anything interesting here. I know I need to hurry up and wrap this up. That's what happens when you go unscripted. Oh. Benjamin Franklin. God helps those who help themselves. Yes, yeah, spoken like a true deist. The Fish Radio. It's a Christian radio. Safe for the whole family. Isn't it funny that their symbol is shows how fishy the whole thing is? Another Christian station, and no, they're safe too. You can listen to them, and they won't make you think any new thoughts. Ah, you'll be safe. Get to know our Creator. Another space in itself. Please don't ask for solicit donations. All right. Oh God, more Ronald Reagan. You guys. The time is come to turn to God and reassert our trust in Him. For the healing of America, our country is in need of and ready for spiritual renewal. And there's a quote from Romans 8, 38, 39, but I'm not going to read it because I'm running too fast. Uh, Got to speed things up. Oh, I, I could like these guys on Facebook. Oh. Uh, tax. Uh, Tax problems? You got any tax problems? Uh, thrift store, towing, tree surf. Oh, what's this? Sorry. Andrew Johnson, 17th president. Let us look forward to the time when we can take the flag of our country and nail it, nail it below the cross. He said that, huh? And there, let it wave as it waved in the olden times, and let us gather around it and inscribe, and inscribe for our motto, liberty and union, one and inseparable, now and forever, and acclaim Christ first, our country next. That's fucked up. Daniel Webster said this. The Bible is a book of faith and a book of doctrine and a book of morals, questionable though, many of them, uh, and a book of religion, a special revelation from God. But it is also a book which teaches man his own, his own individual responsibility, his own dignity, and his equality with his fellow man, a book that advocates slavery. Huh? Oh, please tell our advertisers how you saw their ad in the Christian Yellow Pages. And if you saw it in this video, video tell them that too. <laughs> I'm going to stop here. I, I'm, I'm just trying to help. I could be making new Christians. Who knows? Who knew the fucking yellow pages could be so goddamn spiritual? I notice they don't have the CPR or first aid parts, though. What's up with that? I guess they're Christian scientists, huh? Anyway, I've gone too long. Running on. And this is pretty pointless. So, peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. I think I'm done for now. 
I mean, it's like 4.30 in the afternoon, but the neighbors are already, they don't like my videos, I don't think. Not that they know about them, but they don't like what they're hearing through the wall. And that really breaks my heart.